Welcome to the Cheap Beer Corner, where I get to make Matt drink cheap beer. Sup? So, we've got a little bit of different beer. Uh, I, I didn't know that this is even made anymore. Yeah, I, I, thought, they st- I thought they gave up on this. Yeah, Although, but- this, not to be confused, this is Budweiser Black Crown. The um, blackest of crowns. Like, you ever... Because that... You ever sense. take Pepto-Bismo, and then you're prairie dogging? It's like a black crowning. Jesus yeah, because you're poops. Um, so it's still Beechwood finish. They call it a golden amber lager. Because those are obviously the same thing. And then it says number 91406 under a little Budweiser crown. What does that mean? That's probably the 9,100... 91,406th version of this beer that went through their tasting panels that finally made it okay. I think it's probably like ranked out of all beers. (laughs) This is ranked number 91,406. That's that's the beer advocate rank. Yeah. Um, It's in a bomber, which I've never seen a Budweiser in a 22-ounce bomber before. Yeah. No, again, I'm surprised this exists. I mean, normally when, you know, the big breweries try to do something kind of fancy, it kind of fails. Well, remember when they did the American Ale? Oh, yeah. Didn't work. And I don't know. Is this the same thing? Uh, Did they just rebrand it? I don't think so. They they don't. They're not smart enough for that. They just fucking, like, we made 400 more recipes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they got the money to put, you know, about... You know, a million barrels of this stuff out on the market, you know, just on a whim. So, well, a whim plus lots and lots of, um, you know, focus grouping. It was, um, it literally, literally, they reference focus grouping in the fucking book. <laughs> it says, uh, we challenge our 12 brewmasters. Six unique beers were created. What? You had 12 guys. Uh, Immediately yeah. they cut it in half. Yeah. And then uh, sampled across America, one was chosen. So this focus group. Too? Oh no, I remember this. They had like, didn't they have like an IPA that was like, you know, sort of almost hoppy-ish? Probably. And people not. rejected it. I um, don't know, man. Or they had one with who, coriander. Nah. Who sampled it? Who? People. That's who. I don't know, man. Let's regular look at it. folk. That's who. Regular good God fearing Americans. Yeah, it looks amber-ish. It's actually a really nice looking color. This looks like a pale ale, honestly. Yeah, it does. It's that color. Like like a Sierra, if you told me this is Sierra Nevada and I just looked at it, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, yeah I'd buy it. Yeah. Um, it actually it actually looks pretty good, all things considered. Um, it smell, smells kind of nice. It's got kind of like a caramel malt nose to it, but not like bit. that cloyingness, like that weird fucking... I think it has that. It's got that thing, and it has and it has that signature Budweiser like cherry note to me, too. Mmm. I wonder if that's from the Beechwood. No, I think it's just their yeast. You know what? The, you know the, the Beechwood. You know why they do that? Is to increase the surface area of the yeast. That's oh yeah, it. I know. It's like spirals reason. down there, so it ferments faster. Yeah, exactly, and it, it literally like uh, adds zero flavor, none. I just had I just had a sip of this, mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, I just drank this. Um, it's um, it's all right. It's not. It's not terrible. It's not offending me. Still has that sweetness. Has a little bit of a biscuity thing happening. Is that like their trademark? They're like, we have that cloying sweet finish. Yeah, exactly. Is the Budweiser trademark. You're going to go home with that sweet taste in your mouth. That sweet, nasty grossness that everyone craves. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, well, um, like, this isn't um, like, it's not terrible. I'm not having to suffer through it. That's true. It's actually I mean, kind of okay. Yeah, I mean, if, if someone like put this in your face and they're like, "You have to drink this now," yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, well, like you're like at a barbecue and somebody's like, "Hey, I know you like beer, so I got you this nice beer," and you'd be like, "Thank you." You'd be like, and then you drink it, you'd be like, Thanks, "All right, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's okay." Yeah, uh, it's just it, but I mean, like for all like the fancy, it, it doesn't taste like Pepto Bismol poop. It's 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 I don't I wouldn't say it's distinctively smooth. No. I don't think there's anything really distinctive about it. Six um, percent amber lager. I mean, like th- we have that right. Like that's not reinventing the wheel. Yeah, I think this has already been done, and it's been yeah. done better, and it's called Boston Lager. Yeah, or like, like like Negro Modelo, or like I, mean, I don't know. You can get amber lagers. They used to be more common than they are now. That's true. That used to be the um, thing in like the yeah. 90s. It would be like, oh yeah, lagers. I like dark beer, amber lager, please. Exactly. Yeah, that's uh, my favorite type of micro brew. 
Pro tip, friends. Don't say microbrew. Yeah, no. Nobody that's, says that's, microbrew. That's, that's, that hasn't been said since the 90s. Uh, Overall, like, I mean, again, I wouldn't pay money for this beer. Did You did, though. Well, yeah. You literally did. But I wouldn't again. <laughs> except for The sacrifices you make for the show. Yeah, like, I'm committed to both of our viewers. Yeah, so... Thanks, uh, guys. So, Budweiser Black Crown. It's a sacrifice to buy it. 